hello everyone i hope that all of you are fine and doing well so in this video we are going to talk about how you can win the international fully funded scholarships around the globe so first of all we are going to talk about that what kind of the scholarship opportunities available like there are like four kind of the scholarships available around the globe like government announced scholarships university announced scholarships lab announced scholarships and the exchange programs so these uh, scholarships are funded by if you talk about the uh, government announced scholarships and these uh, scholarships are specifically funded by the that specific uh, country's government like csc scholarship is funded by the chinese government fulbright funded by the u.s government dart funded by the germany singa by the singapore and max by the japanese government if you talk about the university announced scholarships and these scholarships definitely funded by the university sometime you need to work as a research assistant or ta or the teacher assistant to have your stipend for your leavings but the lab announced scholarships are funded by the professor for example if professor some win some grants of research project the professor need to hire some students and a, a professor will fund your studies and this uh, the third type of scholarship is mostly uh, the most easy pro easy it's a most easy way to win the third kind of the uh, scholarship okay then we have an exchange program then in the exchange program mostly the students avail this program are already enrolled in uh, in your masters or phd and uh, they can they can just have your uh, have their one semester or one year from another country or another university by have their exchange year in the another professor's lab or the another university okay so to win all these kind of scholarship you must need to have some kind of the documents so what kind of kind of documents were required to apply for these uh these scholarships are like cv cover letter uh sop letter of intent research proposal and we 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 have one of the we need one of them document to apply for the uh scholarship for example if you apply for the scholarship in america you 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 need only sop or letter of intent but if you are applying for the scholarship in the japan uh, australia or european countries you must have research proposal too okay then you must have another transcripts that is uh, graduate undergraduate transcripts and exam score exam score mostly specifically associated with the us and the australia and the canada where you need to show your IELTS or toefl and uh, g if you talk about the gre exam scores they are specifically associated with the us schools so uh, these kind of a documents you are required to initiate your application process for these kind of fully funded scholarships so we will discuss here one of the uh, one of the one of a kind of a scholarship that how you can win if you have this if some of the professors have funding or some of the professors have the grant research grant you can contact that professor if you have a research area aligned with that specific professor if your research area aligned with that specific professor you just you just write up an email to that specific professor and uh, request for supervision if professor likes your profile he will definitely get back to you and ask for a quick inter quick online interview and if you if you passed uh, the interview and he likes you he will definitely ask you to fulfill the requirement and definitely going to offer you a fully funded position okay so uh, it's one of the it's one of the scholarship you can win in this way another uh, if you can visit these uh, scholarship sites like find a phd academic positions and your access and ebg if it to can find the different advertisement for the phd positions and you can easily uh, apply for these positions if you have these documents in with you so uh, it's also another difficult process to apply and to to have these kind of or to prepare these documents so if you need to feel any kind of a difficulty while preparing these documents i have just mentioned my cv in the description below just email me and i will definitely provide you the template for this document and you can easily draft for yourself so it's all for this video thank you so much for watching and like subscribe and share